Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and in today's video we're looking at the Rokit IQ Smart Audio Glasses. Now getting straight into it, having a look at some of the features that we've got with these particular smart glasses. You've got open ear natural sound, IPX4 water resistant, 5 hours of battery life plus tons more features. So let's get into the unboxing, take a look and let me give you guys my full review. Now this is actually my third review on smart glasses that I've done here on the channel. I've had some from Soundcore which were really awesome they sounded great and they felt great i also had some from doji which weren't necessarily amazing both videos will be linked in the description below and also let me know in the comments what you think of this new smart glass revolution that's starting so getting back to the unboxing we've got some pretty nice premium materials here which is nice to see and we'll talk about the price point in just a moment now the first thing of course that we're going to find is some paperwork with the manual here and this gives you all the information for pairing it using and just in general what they can actually do we've then got the glasses themselves which i am going to put off to just one side for a moment we've then got the first package which actually contains a cleaning cloth and also some clear lenses so this particular pair that i've got have both polarized and also clear lenses next up then we have the charging side of things and of course it does has its own proprietary charger no sort of usb-c or universal charging with these glasses we then get onto the glasses in this origami pyramid type case i don't think it's real leather and i'm also not a massive fan of these sorts of cases obviously some other smart glasses again linked down below do have a similar sort of case to them with a magnetic clasp and a sort of fold out design which i'm not a massive fan of however these ones do also come with a standard soft carrying case as well which isn't necessarily going to you know protect from drops and things like that but everyday scratches it will be perfectly fine but not too much protection now of course these will be linked in the description below but just to let you guys know that these come in are around $89.99 here in the UK and they actually do go up to around £129 depending on the style of the glasses that you go for. For me I've just gone with the standard pair of the glossy black design as you can see which I'm pretty sure are just called the classic design solos and they look pretty much like any pair of other glasses which is why I really went for them. And taking a quick look around the glasses, as you can see, they do look pretty standard until you get to the actual stem itself, the part that goes over your ear. Here we've got the 16mm driver and there's one on each side to provide that sound. And then on the bottom we do have the charging side of things, which we will get onto, along with a physical button as well, which is used to pair and also control the glasses, along with some other speaker ports and cooling vents and things as well. Overall, the design is pretty nice and they're not necessarily too chunky or overbearing compared to a standard pair of glasses you won't necessarily notice a massive difference when it comes to the weight and the overall fit and finish. Now though keep in mind they are a completely plastic design, the housing itself is plastic and also the lenses, no glass or necessarily premium materials. Battery life, you're looking at around 5 hours on a single charge, now that's just going to be with standard music listening or video watching and things, just anything bluetooth audio related and they take around 1 hour or just under an hour to charge from 0 to 100% and like I mentioned it does also come with its own magnetic chargers so you will have to remember this particular cable if going out and about so on to the lenses side of things now like i mentioned i did get some clear lenses included with my particular pair of glasses and i'm just going to see how easy it is to actually change them now it says to push them from the back side of things frontwards okay that was actually super easy to do i'm just going to go ahead and do the other one as well it does feel a little bit strange kind of forcing it out of the actual frame itself but once you're done you've got a completely empty pair of glasses and then you can go ahead and switch out to whatever frames or in particular whatever lenses you actually want to use. So if you did want to use a polarized pair of lenses on a different frame or vice versa you do have the option to do so but again that will depend on the overall style of the glasses themselves. So all you then need to do is push them in from the front to back which makes sense if they come up back to front and again that was actually pretty easy to do so we've now got one clear lens on the left hand side again line it up from the outer edge near the actual stem itself the part that goes over the ear and then push in the part near the nose area and you're pretty much done and ready to go we've now got a clear pair of glasses now obviously because we used our fingers to you know take out the other lens and put these ones in and they are completely clear i would recommend using the included cleaning cloth to obviously you know clean off the lenses so that they're ready to wear and you're pretty much set and ready to go that was actually way easier and a lot quicker than i thought it was going to be and i'm just going to include this whole part of the video i'm not going to cut it or slim it down just to let you guys know exactly how quickly it can be done 
And then lastly, before we get onto the sound and fit side of things, I'm just gonna go into my Bluetooth settings and pair them. So I'm actually wearing them at the moment. I've long pressed on the power button on each of the stems and it shows up. Click on that, click on pair and we are all set and ready to go. Now actually my music has just stopped on my laptop so I'm pretty sure if I head into Spotify now it's going to have the glasses as the device playing and it does. So very instant, very quick pairing. So what I'm going to do now is put them on and give you guys my overall impressions of the fit and the sound quality. Now, as you guys can probably see, it's a particularly sunny day here in the UK, but I've stuck with the clear lenses just to make this part of the video a little bit easier so I can see exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Now, the overall fit of the glasses is actually pretty good. Now, yes, they do have a slightly chunky bit on the side here in terms of the frame itself, but it's not necessarily uncomfortable. In, you know, even if you're using them for sort of a longer period of time, I don't think they're gonna be uncomfortable over time either, which is really nice. Because again, if you do have the sunglasses portion in and you're going out for the day or for a weekend or or whatever it might be and these are your only pair of glasses then you want them to be comfortable for those longer sessions now with regards to the sound side of things that's kind of where i've had some issues with these smart glasses in the past now with the ones from soundcore obviously being from a you know audio company they had some really good sounds of them the doji ones well we're not going to talk about them so let's see how these ones sound in particular now obviously i have given them a very quick sound test off camera and they did sound okay but i just wanted to see it as well obviously i can see my audio levels just here as well if the audio actually comes through or if you guys can hear it so what i'm going to do is put them as loud as they can go so it's maxed out on my s22 plus here and click play okay so i can see the audio levels moving ever so slightly but if i stop talking yeah i I don't think it leaks all that bad, which is, you know, again, nice to see because if you're using these out and about or if you're using them, you know, to commute or whatever it may be, then you don't really want that sound leaking massively. And obviously the fact that the actual sound itself goes onto the temple itself, then yeah, okay, there's not going to be massive sound leak. And in all honesty, they don't actually get super loud either. Now, that's not necessarily the best thing in the world, but again, if they did get any louder than what they currently do, then I'm pretty sure that they would just leak audio and it wouldn't necessarily sound great for those around you. But in general, the sound itself is okay. Now, obviously it's not gonna be anything that actually goes in or over your ear and it doesn't have any sort of noise cancelling. And of course it has the world's best transparency mode because again, nothing's actually in or around the ear itself. Now for certain genres of music, obviously if you're listening to something like heavy metal or something very bass heavy or just with a lot going on, then it can sound very tinny. Again, because of the way that they are designed, you're not necessarily gonna get the best sort of bass performance out of these sorts of audio devices, which is definitely something to keep in mind. However, what I found these were actually really good for, again, if I had the polarized lenses in and I was going out and about on a sunny day, was listening to things like audiobooks or podcasts while going for a nice walk, for example. So for those sorts of occasions and those sorts of things and you know if you want to go for a longer hike or just out and about in general if you want to listen to mainly i would say voice focused audio then they do a pretty good job and that's actually going to do it guys on this video on the iq smart audio glasses from rokit now like i mentioned before earlier on in the video they will be linked in the description down below if you did want to pick some up for yourselves now the main question that i think a lot of you might be thinking is would you get these ones or the ones from soundcore and in all honesty it kind of depends if you are looking for the best audio quality i would definitely go for the soundcore ones however if you're looking for the best comfort and the best fit overall for those longer sessions then i don't think you can beat the rokat but let me know in the comments what you guys think and like i mentioned of this new sort of you know kind of product line that we've got coming up with smart audio glasses i'm pretty sure we are going to see a ton more moving forward if you're not already subscribed now is a great time to do so and once you hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified anytime i post a video here on the channel i'm michael from copper versus glass thanks very much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video